Adrian Wolf from Tern for Line 6 and today I want to show you the uh, brand new Amplify FX100 um, multi-effects processor. So that's the first iOS enabled cloud enhanced multi-effects pedal we have. And uh, it's using the same uh, technology like the Amplify 150 or 175 that we introduced at NAM, and that recently yesterday won the MIPA award for the uh, most innovative product. So we're pretty proud of that. So what's the difference uh, between the Amplify FX100 and the Amplifier? First of all, we do have uh, 100 preset sounds inside the box that we can use and of course we can override them. Uh, but the pretty interesting thing about the Amplify technology is, is that we do have an app, an iOS based app, as you can see, see here, and uh, this is connected by Bluetooth. So I can edit any kind of sounds, you know, without uh, bending myself down or being on my knees just like I did in the 80s, you know. I just can sit in a chair and very comfortably change any kind of sounds. You can see that, uh, first of all, it has uh, a connection to my music library that I have on the iPad. So any kind of song. Once I start the song, it is searching for a tone match in the cloud. We do have 7,000 sounds in the cloud right now and are uh, getting more and more each and every day because people you know who just play with the unit they do the, uh, create their sounds and they just um, publish them so for example we just go for that one let me, let me click it so and now you can see it is searching it's searching in the cloud and I have a sound right here For example, like that, and uh, that's the one thing. Of course, um, just for uh, practicing, you know, that makes things so easier because I have uh, my sound directly in a second, and I don't have to program things. I can uh, do a tone search, and I want to have a sound, you know, just like, for example, I want to sound like Steve Lukather, so I just type in. Look at there. And I search, and again it's searching. So I find a couple of uh, sounds. Just switch on one. You know, you can see that you uh, can uh, do some kind of recommendations with the star, so you can easily find out um, or try, you know, the one with the five stars first. And uh, here we are. So that's pretty easy. If I want to uh, edit the sound because I like it pretty much, but it's not uh, the, the perfect sound that I want to have, this is it. Easy as easy can be. I just go into the sound, here we are, and I'm right in the editor. And it's using, you know, the slider technology, just the way we are doing it on our device, on our um, smartphones each and every day, maybe 100 or 150 times. So I can very easily edit this, you know. I'm just like, maybe I have too much drive or some of this. So I want to have less drive. I want to have more bass. More bass, because bass is always cool. <laughs> Uh, I can change to the cap if I go there. So this guy is using a Brit, uh, 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 v, uh, Vintage 30. I'm much more into greenbacks, so double click the greenback and I have the cabinet. Could change, uh, could change the microphone. For my personal um, taste, I have a uh, 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 I don't like the delay in there, so I chose another one. Just go there. Ah, here. And you can see, always you have these little pictures. You don't need to go through some kind of menus and sides by things and read it. It's just a, a very simple overview. And it's so fast. So I just want to have a digital delay. I'll double click that as well. Come on. This sounds so much better to me. So I'm back in the sound uh, and uh, I just edited it. I 
If now I want to save the sound, it's very easy as that is again. I have the info here, save info. Uh, pretty interesting is uh, yeah, that uh, there's an autofill song info. Because if I'm looking for Steve Lukather, I might have some kind of information that it's already in there. And uh, otherwise, I can uh, type it in. And the more concrete and exact I am, the easier to find the sound in the cloud. Now I go to save tone and I save the tone to my sounds. So I could uh, save the sound to the device, of course, and I can publish it over there. So then it's in the cloud where, meanwhile, our 7,000 sounds, so everybody in the world could have, you guys in France <laughs> can have my sound that I edited here, you know. And uh, if somebody of you guys uh, likes police, for example, and wants to do a sound for um, every breath you take, you just edit it and publish it in the cloud and tomorrow I might use it, you know. So it's growing day by day. We have the choice of uh, 200 different amplifiers, effects and cabinets in the, in the box. You can store 100 sounds in the FX100 and of course we can store endless sounds in the cloud. Now just to sum it up, we do have uh, the first iOS enabled cloud enhanced multi effects pedal with the uh, technology of the amplifier, which means that I have an iOS based app that gives me the opportunity to uh, uh, to get sounds from the cloud, uh, where definitely in the moment are 7,000 different sounds, and I can uh, search for uh, typical uh, for, for genres, for example, I can search for guitarists, I can search for bands, for, for a lot of things, and uh, I have uh, 200 different amplifiers, cabinets, and effects, and that's all pretty easy in pictures, and uh, the time I edit is um, reduced to the minimum for giving me the maximum time to practice and having fun. That's it. <laughs>